Hello everyone, how are you going? Welcome back to another video. Today in this lesson, we are going to talk about the most important topic, Turbo Boost. Turbo Boost technology was released by Intel in 2008. What this technology does is increase the clock speed of the processor beyond its predefined limit through redirection of power from several cores to a specific core. More specifically, multi-core processors have a predefined clock speed. When Turbo Boost is activated, processor redirects power from the cores that are unneeded to boost the clock speed of another core beyond the predetermined limit. Through this way, PC performance can be improved temporarily for handling heavy workloads. This technology is available in some Intel CPUs such as Core i3, i5, i7 and Core i9 processors as well as Intel Xeon series. Now let's break it down into further detail. Intel Turbo Boost technology lets the CPU run at its base clock speed when handling light workloads so that CPU can consume less power and produce less heat. This positively impacts the battery life of laptops. However, when handling heavy workloads, Intel Turbo Boost technology dynamically increases the clock rate to compensate increasing performance in both single-threaded and multi-threaded applications. Now you must be thinking about how much can Turbo Boost technology increase the CPU speed, right? Well, actually, it can potentially increase the CPU speed up to the max turbo frequency while staying within safe temperature and power limits. For example, Intel Core i9-9900K processor has a base frequency of 3.6 GHz and a max turbo frequency of 5.0 GHz. Max turbo frequency reflects the processor's peak performance before overclocking. Now keep in mind, overclocking is different from turbo boost. If you need more information on overclocking, you can find the link below in description. Alright, so depending on the situation, a given CPU may not always reach its max turbo frequency. The dynamic increase in speed changes depending on the workload and the thermal headroom available. As technology developed, Intel introduced Turbo Boost 2.0 in 2011 and then introduced Intel Turbo Boost Max 3.0 in 2016. Intel Turbo Boost 2.0 speeds up processor and graphic performance for peak loads automatically allowing processor cores to run faster than the rated operating frequency if they are running below power, current and temperature. In addition to that, it allows the processor to operate at a power level that is higher than its TDP configuration to maximize performance. Intel Turbo Boost Max 3.0 is an enhanced version of 2.0 that boosts the speed of a CPU's cores individually while also directing critical workloads to those boosted cores. Turbo Boost Max can increase single-threaded performance up to 15%. Intel Turbo Boost 3.0 is available in Intel Core X series. Ok now, if you are wondering how to enable Turbo Boost, don't worry, it's enabled by default. You don't need to download or configure anything, it automatically kicks in when needed. However, you can only enable or disable the technology with a switch in the BIOS. If the option is not found in the BIOS, please refer to your motherboard vendor. Intel Turbo Boost is a very nice feature and we should keep it enabled. By default, it is indeed enabled on supported processors. But usually manufacturers will offer the option for you to disable or enable it. Now the most significant thing to remember is that Turbo Boost is not activated while the computer is running in power conservation mode or under high temperatures. Ok, so in a nutshell, Intel processors equipped with Turbo Boost technology still require a proper cooling system for it to work and prevent overheating risks. Alright, so with that this brings me to the end of my topic. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.